I'm at the Market Commons Shopping and Entertainment area in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm gonna take you on a tour and show you everything this entertainment, dining, and shopping area has to offer. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new to our channel and you enjoy Myrtle Beach videos and other travel content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss anything new. We've got hand-picked jewelry here, the pottery barn, and you're going to see a lot of different options for shopping, for dining, We've got restaurants. We've also got, I'll show you these a little bit later, a movie theater and a bowling alley, and they are both open now. Um, in case you're curious, uh, the movie theater is opening at half capacity, and I know there's some other protocols in place at the bowling alley as well. Here's anthropology. And in fact, since I just mentioned it, there's the movie theater straight ahead. We'll get a closer look in a moment. The landscaping here is very beautiful, as you can see. Really gorgeous. They maintain this very well. Here's a map, just so you can get an idea of how big it is. It is a large complex, lots to offer. And here's the list. You can hit pause if you want to get a closer look at everything that they have. And also, you can check their website as well. And I know I mentioned the movie theater and bowling alley are open, but always check their websites. It's always a good practice these days because things change all the time. And here's one of the larger stores. It's a Barnes and Noble. And they do serve Starbucks inside. Some nice outdoor seating. coming up on one of their restaurants. I'm gonna pull out a little so you can see it. It's Trevina Italian Kitchen. And as you can see, they do have some outdoor seating as well. We've got the Crepe Creation Cafe, Cold Stone Ice Cream. And then here is the large movie theater. As I mentioned, they're open right now at half capacity as of the time of this video. And we've got Sushi Company. And then since we've got a leaf blower down here, I'm gonna circle back around this way and check out the things on this side. We'll come back to the street right here. It's the ultimate California Pizza, Uncommon Chocolatier, Soma Intimates, if you're not familiar with Market Commons area, this is built where the old Air Force Base was, and also uh, it's a huge living area as well, not just the entertainment that I'm showing you but also they have a lot of houses, condos, like these are condos over top of the businesses. And there's also a large park over here with a lake you can walk around. Beautiful fountain. Here's the City Mac store. More pretty flowers, beautiful. If you're wondering where the people are, I came here before it opened, just to make it easier to walk around. High Games by City Mac. Francesca's Collections. Also got Centro Shoes. Random. And then down here on the end is a P.F. Chang's. It's where you see the horse statue. It's a popular place to eat. Go around to the front and get a look at that. So there is a parking deck here. It's straight down this road. You can also get to it from over there, but that is the parking deck right there. It's a large parking deck. There's also free parking on the streets. The parking here is free. 
There's also a large parking lot. So that is the bowling alley. That's probably as close as we'll get because they're doing some power washing. I don't want to get in their way. That right over there is the bowling alley and there's lots of parking there. There's also a huge parking lot behind Barnes and Noble. So you can pretty much always find parking here and it is free. Here is P.F. Chang's. So this road right here is the main road that you would use to access Market Commons. That's Faro Parkway. So we're gonna have a little bit of traffic once we come around this side. So there's the front of P.F. Chang's and the doors are on the side here. And there's a takeout entrance for P.F. Chang's. Oh, and it looks like they've got curbside pickup, which is handy. So they've got two parking spots here for their curbside pickup. And then it has been a little bit since we've been here, but this is actually one of our favorite places to eat here, which is the Nacho Hippo. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, at least, like I said, we haven't been there this year, but we used to go on a pretty regular basis and they do have outdoor seating and we've really enjoyed it. So over here to the right is that park I mentioned with the lake and the trail that goes all the way around where you see that bridge and also they frequently have festivals in that general area too so that's something else to keep in mind in case you're interested we have a video of a German festival that was there and so I'll link that it was Oktoberfest and so I'll link that above it was a lot of fun but they have all different kinds of festivals not just Oktoberfest so there's a view into the parking deck that I mentioned. It's definitely a really nice community. Uh, lots to offer over here. And if you are vacationing at Myrtle Beach, it's a great place to come shop, dine, and also, like I said, entertainment. You've got the bowling, you've got the movies. Lots to do here. So that was Orvis. Another entrance for Orvis. Looks like we've got peace, love, and donuts. Ooh, I smell the donuts. Wow, they smell really, really good. And here's an artistic gallery, Seacoast Artist Gallery. Another pretty fountain over there. Really pretty. Also, I'm gonna stay in the main area market commons, but there's also smaller shops under some of the townhouses that are further down this way. So there's, there's just a lot here to see. I'm gonna stay, like I said, in this main area. Oh, and we just passed Adventure of Myrtle Beach. And then across the street, we've got Gordon Birch. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, leave me a comment. If I'm saying that wrong, I probably am. Southern Living. There's Manifest. Sunglass Hut. Coastal Dance Center. The Walking Company. They have a lot of shoes and foot items. J. Jill. And since I've got some people doing work here, I'm gonna move out into the street so I don't get in their way. Charming Charlie. So we'll take a look at the nice landscaping out here in the middle while I go around. Then we've got the white and black house market, Ivy and Leo, and now we're back around to City Mac. So I'm going to cross over and then we'll go down 
the side of this street and get what we missed here. Got a Chico's style me. I do not know how to pronounce that, but it's a jewelry shop. <laughs> and it looks like we've got a Bath and Body Works. And let's see what we have on the end here. So it looks like nothing is here. It looks like an empty storefront right now. So there's the Southern Living and the Gordon place that I mentioned that I can't say the last part of it. Oh, what a pretty statue. It just did a really beautiful job designing this. It's really nice. Got a mermaid. You're gonna get a leaf blowing noise. Sorry, there's nothing I could do about that. So here's even more parking. And here's a place called Cam's. Across the street we have Bodego Electric Bikes. Looks like they have purchases and rentals, so if you wanted to rent an electric bike, there's where you could go. Electric bikes are really nice. We have regular bikes, but Brian also has an electric bike and they're pretty nice. You get a battery assist. Here you don't need them as much because it's flat, but if you're in a hilly place, that can be really nice. There's the brass tap directly across the street. It looks like we've come full circle. We're back up to California Pizza. So let's go down the other side of this street and I will pick back up as soon as I get to where we left off. So I'm back over to that parking. So you can see another huge parking area. Uh, we've come here all times of the year and we've never had trouble finding parking. Uh, it's definitely not an issue. We've got Happy Teeth, which I assume is a dentist. Coastal Dance Center. LS 3P, I think we missed that on the way by. And the last thing that I think we missed is Stage Left Theater Company. They finished power washing, so I came over to get a better shot of the bowling alley. And they do have some other games and some dining in there as well. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.